give you the swag tips on how to beat the Latios and Latios raids. And yeah, I'm totally like the best guy to give you tips on these because I just three-manned all the different Latios movesets. So who knows how to fight Latios but me, but Latios, slightly different. So yeah, very simple infographic. The two Laddie twins, Latios and Latios, they're both dragon psychic type Pokemon. They have roughly the same stats. They just have their attack and defense inverted. So the fights are very similar and their attacks are basically the same too. The main difference between Latios and Latios is Latios, the blue one, has Solar Beam and Latios, the red one has thunder. So that's it, and as far as their counters go, none of the main ones really care, except for Tyranitar versus Solar Beam. Has the catch CP ranges, the boosted catch CP ranges, the party size. They're available until May 8th, and then on May 8th, they're gonna switch locations. And then on June 5th, then they're gonna leave. So, and then we'll get something else. Or maybe Niantic will have some stupid event and they'll be like, Hey guys, you know you fought the same raid boss <laughs> for like the past two months? Well, oh, special event, Latios versus Latios. But yeah, so the best counters to these raids are going to be the three big, like the big three dragons. Alright, you got Salamence, you got Dragonite, you got Rayquaza. Rayquaza is technically the best of the three. Salamence is technically the worst of the three, but they're all super good. They're all about the same in performance, especially at lower levels. And they're all like got the same thing going on. Double Dragon moveset, and they're great. <laughs> they're seriously great. Even against Dragon Claw, they're great. So, if you got a bunch of them, you're, you're pretty much set. Against their Psychic moveset, You've got Tyranitar being exceptionally tanky, but against all movesets, Tyranitar is very good. Uh, against Solar Beam Latios, uh, Tyranitar is a little bit more of a risky pick. Kind of kind of rough for the to T-Tar there, but it's still like strong enough. It does enough damage where it's still contributing better than most Pokemon. So I think all around, Tyranitar is a very good option, even for the Solar Beam fight. Uh, Mewtwo is not bad. It's good. It's certainly good. It just has like a lot less, um, it's a lot less unique compared to like the dragons and Tyranitar, but it's like a good enough all-arounder, right? So Tyranitar will have some niche cool advantage that brings it ahead of Mewtwo in some fights, but Mewtwo is still a very, very good option with Shadow Ball. Uh, I recommend using the Psycho Cut, but any attack is really fine between Confusion and Psycho Cut. So for the final circle here against all movesets, I decided to go with Gengar. If I had the graphic split between Latios and Latios specifically, uh, for Latios, I'd probably put Caesar here as a good option because it has like as much DPS as Gengar, but a bit more tankiness. But against Latios, Gengar is a much better, in my opinion at least. Uh, than Caesar overall. But for Latias, I probably would put like Groudon here as a tank option because Latias has Thunder and Groudon has Dragon Tail. And because Groudon's so strong and it has at least Dragon Tail, it is still a very good option against Latias. Melding them together, Gengar definitely stood out as like the best of both worlds. But overall, uh, using the dragons is just going to be way better. And yeah, if you're worried about like your potions, your revives, and you got Dragon Claw, the Outrage sets, the dragon ones that hit the dragons the hardest, then you've got uh, Gardevoir here and <laughs> Gramble as being exceptionally tanky. Uh, you might remember from the call to action video and article I did on Gramble during the Doggo event being a very nice throwaway kind of bulky option against the Laddie Twins if you like to save on potions and revives to like the next level. And they're very good with their DPS. They're not bad, uh, especially Gramble because Gramble has Bite and Snarl, which is super effective to these Psychic type Pokemon along with the Play Rough where Gardevoir has to rely on Charge Beam, charging up Dazzling Gleam fast. So a little bit less, you know, damage there. So yeah, they have their trade-offs, and yeah, they're both pretty good against the dragon sets. And if it is cloudy outside, then their damage is increased even further, where I'd consider them to be supreme options, as worthy, if not more worthy, than the dragons for being used against the dragon-type movesets specifically. Latios and Latias are also both excellent counters to themselves and each other. They're definitely not on the level of the other dragons though. Yeah, other good alternative options are uh, Gyarados with its dark sets and its dragon sets. 
Um, Mu is a good option, and I'll be getting into that in a bit on the graphs. Uh, Articuno is very okay. I'd say like Houndoom, Pinsir, Jinx, and Lugia are a little bit more like, uh, you might want to use like lower level iterations of like the face graph Pokemon before you use those. Yeah, <laughs> Rayquaza, the, the main counter to the laddies, because it's the best one. Like these ones are dragon type legendaries, and that, that's kind of hilarious because we only have one dragon type legendary, and that's freaking Rayquaza, right? And the Eon Duo, they fly around in the skies, but you know who rules the stratosphere, and that's Rayquaza. So these are Latios counters, all movesets, level 40, all movesets averaged, no dodging. And that's something I forgot to mention before, dodging. Uh, against Latios, uh, if you're against the Solar Beam set, the Dragonites, the Salamences, and the Rayquazas can dodge those Solar Beams. And I've got some pretty good experience with Rayquaza and Dragonite dodging the Solar Beams. If they're higher level, then the Solar Beam does about half health from them, but if you dodge them, it like does basically nothing. I think it's like 18-16% health. So you can dodge two Solar Beams, but after that, you most likely will faint on the next one undodged. So then you won't want to dodge that third Solar Beam because of the death loop glitch. You'll trigger it. It's still around. It happened to uh, Higgs apparently when we were doing our three man of Solar Beam. He was like, oh geez, I got death looped. And I was like, don't say that. We got to do the three man, man. Don't get death looped. So these are the good counters for Latios, um, graphed out, and then I also included the breakpoints for Rayquaza, Dragonite, and Salamence. Salamence actually has a breakpoint at like level 39 or 39.5, and because it's basically 40, like, I'm not gonna clutter up this graph even further with a level 39 Pokemon, right? That's insane. Uh, so I left that off. But yeah, so they're all pretty good, uh, and they all basically maintain like similar presence to each other at their lower breakpoints. So like level 36 Dragonite, basically as good as uh, maxed out Salamence, still basically better than everything else. Rayquaza at level 35.5 is still pimping. And then yeah, lower levels too, like level 28.5 Dragonite, uh, level 30 Salamence, level 29 Rayquaza. Super good budget options, even at these lower levels, they're still basically better than everything else. And yeah, you can see down here that Mew is doing pretty good. Like 12 DPS, that really isn't bad. Yeah, given that Mew isn't getting stab off of its hits that it's doing to them, that's actually pretty impressive for Mew. And the Latios and Latios fights are definitely Mew's like better matchups. Uh, Shadow Claw is definitely the best fast move. And Dragon Tail is like basically as good. And then comboing it with like Dazzling Gleam, Ice Beam, Blizzard, those are going to be the better charge moves, but Dark Pulse is also fine, same with Dragon Claw. So, yeah, Mew moveset. So if you're powering up Mew anyways, and you want to use Mew, I'd say there really isn't a whole lot of reason to not use it in these fights. Also, just because Niantic mentioned Mawile as being a good counter to this fight, in the official Pokemon Go, like, announcement for the Laddie Twins, they said use Tyranitar and Mawile. And just to give you an idea of how bad Mawile is, uh, here it is. <laughs> like, worse, worse DPS than everything, worse TDO than everything. Uh, Mawile has a triple resistance to dragon type attacks, and has a normal resistance to psychic, and a normal resistance to grass. So it's got some resistances there, but it apparently isn't doing anything with them, because it's got way worse TDO than everything. So... Sucks to suck, Mawile. Uh, but I did do some research, and it turns out that Mawile, if you have 18 players with level 20 Mawiles of any moveset, like I did some blended stuff, uh, that you could clear a Latios raid uh, with, with all Mawiles. So that can be a thing. So I checked out Shuckle. 20 players using an infinite number of level 40 Shuckles, uh, using presumably the best moveset for the fight, uh, can't do it. Even with a weather boost, they only get like a little bit more than halfway there and then they time out. But I did check level 40 worm pulls. 20 players using an infinite amount of level 40 worm pulls can do a Latios raid. Now for the Latios fight, it's basically the same. So this is the Latios that we have, which has Outrage. This is the <laughs> old Latios, the projected one that we would have had if Niantic didn't intervene 
that has Dragon Claw. It seems that against the Outrage, Mewtwo is doing a bit worse, and that's probably because Mewtwo is going to get KO'd at a different time than it would have before, like on average, so it sets it back on average. But yeah, overall, Outrage really hasn't changed the fight too much, like on average for everything else, but I uh, just want to take a little peek at that. So yeah, so Latias has Thunder, and in my Reddit post, I, I made a little bit of a mistake. I said that the dragons were worse here because it has thunder and they take a neutral damage instead of heavily resisted damage. But it was actually that uh, Tyranitar is performing much better here. And because Tyranitar isn't getting hit by the solar beam, for this averaged graph for all the different movesets, Tyranitar just is like pimping compared to the Tyranitar that was feeling sorry before. Uh, Latios and Latios are looking a bit better in this fight than the previous one because of there being the lack of Solar Beam and that there is Thunder. These two are Dragon Psychic, so they don't have the flying type holding them back in this fight, where in the other fight against the Solar Beam, the, the flying type was bringing the dragons up even further. So against Latios, there, there is like a, I mean, against Latios, it's a little bit more of an even playing field for all five of these dragons, but overall I still have to say that the, the big dragons, the big three, are, are standing above them a little bit more. So yeah, Groudon rocking it here. Um, if we were up against the Thunder move set, it'd probably be like further to the right, like kind of where Tyranitar is. But yeah, against the dragon move sets specifically, the Gramble and the Gardevoir, doing really good against the dragon type attacks, very tanky. Uh, if you're trying to save on potions and revives, definitely a very good option, especially in the cloudy weather here, where their DPS actually gets on par with the dragons, and then they have that huge TDO. So yeah, definitely respectable. Now to convince people to use them instead of aggrons, well that's a whole nother quest in this game. Latios and Latias in the meta. So for both of them, they're great dragons. They're very good. They're not bad. They're good. But because there's so many other dragons like Rayquaza, Dragonite, Salamence doing their jobs better basically all the time, there, there isn't like much of a reason to power them up. And as far as being a psychic type goes, they have Mewtwo and uh, Lugia to compete with. Aside from them, they also have Metagross and Gardevoir to compete with. Depending on what niche you're looking at, they're going to be doing better than them. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't advise powering either of them up for those roles. Now if you want to look at doing grass type stuff, because Latios is a legendary with Solar Beam, and we've seen Ho-Oh stand out with Solar Beam, and we've seen Groudon stand out with Solar Beam, and Latios does do some cool stuff with Solar Beam too, but uh, not it doesn't like do it in as big of a way that Groudon does for DPS, and it doesn't do it as big of a way that Ho-Oh does for TDO, and it's not exactly like in between with them either. It's just not that impressive with its solar beam. And then because Venusaur is now pimping with that frenzy plant, it's even harder for Latios to compete as a pseudo grass type, so I don't recommend it for that either. And then for Latios, it's got Thunder, and Thunder sucks. Between the two, I'd say Latios would be a better investment than Latios because it's got, you know, the higher attack, which in Pokemon Go is pretty much the bottom line unless you've got, like, crazy good resistances in bulk like Lugia and Ho-Oh do. But Latios does have a cool niche advantage, right, that I actually talked about ages ago when I was looking at attacker and defender rankings. For the defense model I used for the Game Press Defender tier list, I uh, used Latios as the attacker instead of Dragonite or Equaza because Latios is overall the better gym attacker compared to all the dragons. One, because it's got the Dragon Claw, it's not like a legacy Dragon Claw, but uh, for two, its resistances are especially good for gym sweeping or gym cleaning because uh, it's Dragon Psychic. So the two best fast moves for gym defense are Confusion and Volt Switch. They, they, they hurt a lot, they've got high base damage, even at low levels of motivation they still like chunk your health. Well, the other dragons take uh, neutral damage from those hits, which means that it still hurts them a bit. But Latios resists them, because it doesn't have the flying type canceling out Dragon's electric resistance, and its psychic typing resists the psychic confusion. So yeah, so pretty cool for that, so that's definitely a cool niche option. Um, powering up Latios specifically to do that uh, might not be like 
the best investment of Stardust, but if you're going to power up Latios anyways, or in my situation, I want another cool dragon, I like Latios, and it's good enough, then yeah, that's like another cool thing you can do with your Latios. That was a clip from my live stream Swag Tips. Swag Tips streams every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Time on the Twitch channel Swag Tips. If you like this content and you want to see more like it, then make sure to subscribe to Swag Tips. If you have any questions about the Latios or Latias fights, then comment below, let me know. And if you want to see me cover any other sort of content, then make sure to comment and let me know what you want to see.